today what I want you to get out of these videos is that different exponential situations and the importance of OOO that's order of operations the basics properties of exponents is the first one we're going to cover uh, go ahead and take a minute to write down your vocab and we're going to cover four types of exponents the one with the positive basis, the one with the ones with negative basis, exponents with bases are negated, and zero exponents. Exponents with positive basis is the first one we are going to cover. If you have two to the fourth power, the base in here is what it is what exponent is touching so exponent is only going to affect what's in the base in this case to the fourth power will be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which would be 4 times 4 and is equal to 16 the next one is a little uh, different, but m to the third power, but we have a hint in here, m is being 8, so we're just going to substitute, uh, instead of m, I will put 8 uh, to the third power, that would be equal to 8 times 8 times 8, which is equal to 512. Here's a, a U-try for you. Uh, take a moment and evaluate. Let's look into exponents whose bases are negated. When we have a negative in front of a base and there is exponent, the negative in front almost acts like it's a negative 1 is multiplied by the exponential number. In this case, we would have negative 1 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9, and negative 1 times 81 times 81, that's equal to negative 1 times 6,561, that's equal to negative 6,561 as the final answer. On the next example, we have negative 2 to the fifth power, and in here we have the negative one o, the negative o to the fifth to the fifth power. That means negative one times two times two times two times two times two. That would be equal to negative one times thirty-two. Answer is negative thirty-two. When exponents have negative basis, you will most likely to see a parenthesis around the negatives, and that means whatever is inside of the parentheses is considered as the base so we would multiply the base by itself as many times as the exponent tells us negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81 negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81 positive 81 times positive 81 is positive 6561 just like the previous one we would multiply negative 2 by itself as many times as the exponent. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That would be positive 4 times positive 4 times one more negative 2. That's equal to 16 times negative 2, which is equal to negative 32. These two are the most commonly missed types uh, of questions in our tests and quizzes. So please uh, take your time to understand and uh, see the difference in here. Exponent 4 on the first one is touching only to 9 to the base and then the negative is up front. And on the second one, exponent is touching the parentheses where whatever is inside the parentheses is going to be considered as the base. Our next styles is zero power exponents. That's uh, kind of self-explanatory. If we have a zero as the power, 
that would make a number equal to 1. 5 to the zeroth power is equal to 1. On this example here, because 0 is touching to the parenthesis, whatever is inside the parenthesis will be affected by that exponent, so the result will be 1. And this one is slight different. We will have we have negative nine to the zeroth power, and negative nine means negative one times nine to the zeroth power. So this will be equal to negative one times one, which is equal to negative one. It doesn't matter what's inside of a parenthesis, as long as you have a zero as the exponent, that uh, exponent is going to apply everything that's inside the zero, uh, parenthesis. Therefore, result is going to be one. Now, now we are going to look into evaluating exponential expressions. And an expression is a group of numbers and variables that doesn't have an equal sign. So a to the third power is an expression, and the, the a squared plus b squared is also an expression because they don't have equal signs. To evaluate expressions, we are going to use the given values, and we are going to substitute those values instead of the variables. But instead of a, I'm going to put 3 to the third power. Please uh, pay attention to the fact that I'm uh, putting the number inside of a parenthesis. This is going to be very helpful, especially when you're dealing with negative numbers. 3 to the third power is going to be 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 27. a squared plus b squared. a was 3 squared. b is 4 squared. That will be equal to 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4, that's 16. Sum of that is going to be 25. Now, these can get a little tricky, especially when you're dealing with negative numbers, whenever you're substituting negative numbers. When c is a negative number, we are going to substitute the c value in the expression negative 2 to the third power. Because 3 is touching to a parenthesis, it's going to affect everything that's inside a parenthesis. So we will have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That will be equal to negative 8. On the second one, we're going to have a negative up front. And instead of C, I'm going to put a negative 2 and then the exponent, then 3 plus a squared, and instead of a, I substitute, substitute it 3, 3. Now, we would, of course, evaluate according to order of operations, and we would do the exponents first. Negative 2 to the second power has to be evaluated first, so I still have my negative up front, and negative 2 to the second power is going to be positive 4. And I have subtraction of 3 plus 3 squared is equal to 9. Negative 4 minus 3 is equal to negative 7 plus 9. That's equal to positive 2. On the next example, we have the exponent as the variable. All we need to do is to substitute. Instead of 4 to the 8th power, I'm going to put 3. You can still put a parenthesis here on a positive x value as well, plus 3 times negative 2. 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 64. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, 64. Adding a negative is same as subtraction, 64 minus 6 is going to be equal to 58. Here's a U-try for you. Take your time and please be careful while you're solving number 5 and number 6. Pay attention to negatives. If you need to review, review any of the previous examples, please go back and take your time. And this is one of the most commonly missed areas in our tests and quizzes. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask your teacher during the class.